What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing With Skills and today I'm bringing you another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on Global Event Ambush, the final global event of this anniversary month. Remember we were celebrating the anniversary of the division plus celebrating 20 million players playing this game. Don't forget to pick up your free sneeze emote which is available at the rewards claim vendor. The first week of March we had Global Event Outbreak which was from March 1st to the 5th. The second week we had Global Event Assault which was March 8th to the 12th. The third week we had Global Event Strike March 15th to the 19th. And finally, we're at our final global event, which is Global Event Ambush, which is going to happen from March 22nd to the 26th. So the first thing we're going to focus on are the global event modifiers. So global event modifiers for this global event are Ambush. Agent deals increased damage when stationary. So this is when you're in cover or if you're just standing still and firing. Now the next modifier is Covert Ambush, which is Ambush Behavior, plus health diminishes while you're moving. So you're going to deal more damage, but as soon as you start moving, your health will start to diminish. Now the final modifier is Strategic Ambush. Ambush, covert ambush behavior plus health diminishes when close to allies so not only are you going to lose health when you're moving whenever you're close to allies you're also going to lose health so the final modifier is strategic ambush covert ambush behavior plus your health diminishes when close to allies now what are the gear sets you can get during this global event well the first gear set is alpha bridge the second gear set is Firecrest, the third gear set is Hunter's Faith, and then the fourth gear set is Tactician. All four of these gear sets are really fun to play. I personally need some better Alpha Bridge gloves, so I'm gonna be farming for Alpha Bridge, and I already have Firecrest, Hunter's Faith and Tactician on lock, so I don't need any of those gear sets. But for a lot of you guys, I would highly recommend you guys farming those Tactician pieces because it's great for when you're farming resistance. You can do it with a two-man team, a one-man team. The Firecrest is really good for PvE. Hunter's Faith is really good for putting out a lot of damage towards NPCs, and I'm gonna be releasing a build later this week. And of course, Alpha Bridge, which is a pretty decent PvP build. Alpha Bridge, Firecrest, Hunter's Faith, and Tactician are the four gear sets you're gonna get during this global event. Now that we know what gear sets are available and what the modifiers are, let's go check out the playlist. So the playlist for this global event are Broadway Emporium, Queen's Tunnels Camp, Police Academy, Times Square Power Relay, and Dragon's Nest. So what I'm gonna show you right now is where each one is located and then whether you can do it on hard, challenging, or legendary. So the first mission on the playlist is Broadway Emporium. Now you're going to be able to do this on normal and hard. So you're not going to get a lot of GE credits, but it's pretty easy to run through this mission. I wouldn't recommend farming it. The next mission is Queen's Tunnel Camp. You can do this on normal, hard, and challenging. Now you can farm this one and you can get a lot more GE credits once the GE is active. Remember the GE is not active. So all the playlists, once they're active, you're able to put the modifiers on and that will give you GE credits. Plus you'll get a bonus if you do it on the code and strategic modifiers. For Police Academy, you can do it on normal and hard. Times Square is gonna be one that you're gonna wanna farm a little bit. If you're tired of farming Lexington Times Square, with a decent team, you can run through this pretty quick with the modifier that is on for this global event. You can do this on normal, hard, and legendary. I would highly recommend you guys farming this mission on legendary. If you don't wanna farm Lexington, you can run through this pretty quick with a decent team, and you're gonna get a lot of GE credits because you can complete this on legendary, and it's one of the easier ones to do. And if you haven't done it for the week, you'll get one exotic cash too. So it's a bonus, so at least do it once, but I would recommend if you have a good team, you could probably farm this pretty quick. And the final mission, which is an incursion, is Dragon's Nest. Now you can do this on challenging, you can do it on heroic, if you have a good team, you can run through this. It's not a really fast incursion, so farming this once or twice is pretty cool, but if you wanna get the most GE credits per hour, this is not gonna be the way you're gonna do it. You can get some GE credits while doing this mission, but it's not gonna be the best mission to get the maximum GE credits. Just like every global event, you have those main missions that will always be the best for running through really fast. You can do Lexington Event Center because you can do this on challenging, and it's really simple to do. It's hard to mess up this mission. Clear Sky is always gonna be one to get a lot of GE credits you can complete this mission in around five to six minutes with a decent team so if you have a really good team it's a little bit faster clear sky is definitely probably the best mission to go into to farm GE credits if you have a team now if you don't have a team and you're just running solo stick to doing Lexington Event Center you don't have to have any mics any kind of communication you can just constantly run through this if you're bored of running that you can also run Hudson Refugee Camp you can also do this one on challenging there's three bosses at the end so once you complete this not only do you get the GE credit credits for completing the mission, you get GE credits for killing the three bosses at the very end. So this is really up to you on what you want to do to farm Hudson Refugee Camp, Lexington, 
Clear Sky are always the favorites for the missions for people to get the most GE credits. Now with Times Square Power Relay being one of the playlists for this global event and then the modifier being stationary, you can pretty much run through this mission really quick depending on the builds that you're running. So I'll probably be running Hunter's Faith so I can run through Times Square Power Relay with a decent team pretty fast. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of Lexington, Hudson Refugee Camp, some Clear Sky, and then of course I will be doing Times Square Power Relay this global event. So now that we talked about the playlist, we're going to talk about the mass. The first mass we're going to be talking about is the bug mass. To unlock this mass, you need to kill 100 enemies while moving. The conditions are world tier 5, hard difficulty or above, and all you have to do is get a total of 100 enemies killed while you're moving. So this is probably the easier of all the masks to do. I would recommend you putting a mission on hard and just running it over and over, and you should be able to knock this out in no time. You don't have to do this with a teammate. You can do this by yourself. So doing Police Academy would probably be the easier mission to do. What I'm going to have for you guys is the fastest way for you guys to complete all three masks. I already completed that video last time this global event was around so I'll just put a link down below it's also gonna flash up top so if you guys want to see how to get these masks the fastest and easiest way there'll be a link in the description plus there will be something that pops up on your screen right now go check that out if you guys want to see how to get these masks fast and easy all three masks are on there on one video I'm not gonna redo that video I will let you guys just look that one up so it's gonna be in the description box before we go to the next mask I just want to show you what this mask looks like so if we look at the bug mask this is a pretty cool looking mask it was one of my favorite masks to run before I got the chemist mask I was running this mask a lot it's definitely an easier mask to get and one of the nicest looking masks so if you're looking at getting this mask right here don't worry it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to knock it out in four days the next mask we're gonna look at is the next easiest mask to get kill 400 enemies while you're stationary so if you're using some type of sniper build like Deadeye Hunter's Faith or some kind of urban MDR build like the Firecrest or Sentry Call you're gonna knock this out pretty fast the conditions for this mask are world tier 5 hard difficulty or above and you can do this by yourself you can knock this out pretty quick just farming global events so I wouldn't really recommend you guys farming the bug mask or the cage mask because those are probably the easier masks to get and you will get that just farming GE credits so if you don't have any of the global event gear sets from this global event I would really recommend you guys farming GE credits getting those 1500 superior caches and getting those gear sets I'll have the link down below on how to get these masks fast and easy so just check the description box after watching this video and you'll see how to get all three masks before we go into the final mask I just want to show you what the cage mask looks like so the cage mask is pretty cool looking it's simple but I actually like how it pairs up with a lot of your clothing items so a lot of the vanity items we have it looks really good with so if it's something that you guys like it's basic but it looks really clean with a lot of gears it's even what I'm wearing right now it kind of goes with it and the final mask the haze mask probably my least favorite looking mask out of all three from this global event it's the harder mask to get I got it, but I don't even wear it. I think I've wore it like once or twice. I can't really find anything to wear with it, but it's still pretty decent. Now to get this mask, you need to kill 250 enemies while you're near an ally in strategic ambush. Now remember, strategic ambush is covert ambush, which is ambush behavior, plus your health diminishes while moving, but also with strategic ambush on, your health diminishes when you're close to allies. So you're gonna be losing some health when you're next to allies. So getting this mask is gonna take a little bit of teamwork. You guys are gonna have to work for it. You gotta kill 250 enemies while you're near ally in strategic ambush if you want to see how I did this mask look at the link down below and that will tell you an easy and fast way to knock out this mask the conditions for this mask are world tier 5 hard difficulty or above strategic ambush on and get 250 enemy kills so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you what this mask looks like so this is the haze mask it kind of looks like a little halo mask not my favorite mask to use a lot of you guys might like the mask personally I don't really use it and I don't really like it but if you guys want to get this mask and you guys want to use this mask you'll probably be one of the few that have it definitely if you're trying to get this mask watch the video down below a link to it will be in the description box so go check that out remember anything you guys want to know about the global event you could talk to this global events officer he's going to tell you everything about the event how many credits you've earned how many caches you've bought the missions the combinations the kills the conduct back here at the global events activity this is where you're going to see what tier level you're in remember tier level two and three are going to give you vanity items tier one two three will give you a classified cash and then of course if you're in tier one you get one classified cash in tier two you get two classified caches and if you're in tier three you get three classified caches back here you're going to see the global events vendor this is where you're going to be able to use your ge credits to get those gear sets like i tell you every global event superior caches are the way to go if you want to get the new gear sets 
So that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. If you guys still have any questions on this global event, please let me know in the comment section. Remember, if you guys want to see me live during the global event, go follow me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills gaming. I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support. We hit 27,000 subscribers. Huh. I just feel like yesterday we hit 25,000 subscribers. So to hit 27,000 subscribers this quick is amazing. Guys, I, I want to say thank you guys again. My face reveal video will be coming out this week. I promise you guys at 25,000 and I'm working on it. I just got a t-shirt with my logo on it, so I wanted to be able to present that to you guys. Remember, if you don't see me in Last Stand, if you don't see me in Skirmish, if you don't see me in the Dark Zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out.